friend how are you if you are not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updated technical video and remind your old memories today our discussing topic is about sag what is sag sag is being used at the transmissions line or distributions line also it is most important in the transmissions line in the plain area flat area flat land or also uh, in the hilly area it depends on the equal and unequal distributions level and support level also so it is so important during the erections of the overheaded line it should ma maintain the safe tensions on the conductors if too much stretch you will provide then <coughs> unsafe condition snapping may be allowed deep and sag difference between the point of supports and the lowest point on the conductors is called sag so the tension at any point on the conductor at tangentially and the lowest point horizontal tension the important consideration is the mechanical design of the overheaded line these points are very important to be memorized in here is a pictures here i am trying to show you a two point three point here p q and r p and q are connected with the transmission tower because this is the support and r is the lowest point on the sag point so the between uh, the difference between the lowest point of the conductor and the support point is called the sag and is sag is denoted by s in that case it is also applicable for the other case also so this is also the sag the difference between the level of r and q so the calculation of the sag is very important uh, tension tension is uh, depends on the conductor's weight what is the conductor weight per unit weight of the conductor the pressure of the wind the ice loading the temperature variation so the calculation of the sag is depend or tension also depends on that factors so we uh, now discussed about the equal level uh, sag distributions and unequal level sag distributions in the equal level sag distribution there are the two point one is p one is q and the lowest point is r in that point the tangential uh, tension will be applied after erected and here the horizontal tension if we consider the span is total length of the span is uh, l l is the length of the span and w is the w is the weight per unit length of the conductor unit length of the conductors uh, means uh, 1 kilometer or uh, half kilometers or 2 kilometers weight uh, has been considered for the unit length if we consider the 1 kilometer conductor's weight is uh, 100 kg or more than that for example then w is the weight per unit length of the conductor t is the tension of the conductor so <clears throat> by help of this formula if we calculated uh, the sag then the formula will be s equal to w l square by 8t 8t we have to consider the two point two point one is the x and one is the y uh, what is the x and what is the y x is the point where where the um, uh, lowest point lowest point is the x so this is the x and this is the y so if we calculated the formula y y equal to w x square by 2t 2t if we putting here these conditions x equal to l by 2 l by 2 we will get this formula so you should have to memorize this formula x s equal to w x square by 2t where x is the uh, length of the point and y is the sag 
for uh, unequal distribution or unequal level that is um, only applicable for the hilly area as like as this picture is concerned this is the surface of the hill and this is the point where the transmission tower is at p point and also in the q point so the level is not equal what is the difference between this same level is h what is the difference h h is the difference between the equal and unequal uh, supports point where r is the loading point r is the loading point and uh, s1 uh, is the sag of the lower level tower and s2 is the sag of the upper level tire or higher, higher uh, level uh, tower point <clears throat> where x1 is the uh, l is the total length x1 um, is the length uh, from the lowest point and x2 is the length from the uh, highest point so if we calculated the s1 and s2 separately then s1 equal to w x1 square by 2t if we know that um, length then we can calculate the sag um, sag of the lowest point that is denoted by s1 if we know the uh, length of the s2 x2 then we can calculate the uh, sag of the x2 of the highest point so by help of this formula we can calculate it we can calculate it the sag um, by help of the formula we uh, we know that x1 equal to l by 2 minus t h by w l w l is the formula of the x1 and x2 equal to l by 2 plus t h by w l if uh, w l that is w l if we know all the parameters then we can easily calculate the x1 or x2 if we know the point if we measure the length x1 and x2 then obviously we will calculate the s1 and s2 so this this should be memorized the formula s1 is the length of the point where the loading or the lowest point of the conductor it may be in the hilly area it may be in the plain area whatever be you should remember uh, the formula you can easily calculate it, the sag effect uh, of wind and ice loading effect of wind and ice loading is very uh, important because the ice loading is ice coating and simultaneously subject to the wind pressure it, it's also depend the weight of the ice acts vertically downward vertically downward this is the w w is the weight of the conductor w i is the you know, weight of the ice coating so the total weight are acting vertical downward that is w plus w i is the total weight uh, acting upon the conductors and this is the wind pressure w w is the wind pressure so if we calculated this we will get w t w d uh, w t is the um, uh, sum um, w t uh, is the vector sum of the horizontal and vertical force so if we calculated the w t uh, if we know the w t we can easily calculate the sag so s equal to w t l square by 2 t if we know the l if we know the uh, uh, L between um, the two supports and if we know the tension, horizontal tension or it may be the uh, tangential tension, then we can easily calculate the sag here tan theta, tan theta equal to W W by W um, plus W I. So the vertical sag, this is called a slant sag, slanting sag, slanting means this is the inclined uh, is called the slanting line, is it, it is not the horizontal line is slanting line uh, so the slanting sag we can calculate the slanting sag by help of this formula and uh, for the vertical sag we will calculate if we know the a slanting sag then vertical sag will be calculated by cos theta if we know the formula or if we know the angle of theta then uh, we can easily calculate the vertical sag so friend if you are interested please subscribe my channel and share my channel with your friends and colleagues thank you thank you very much for watching my video thank you very much